Hi ladies, welcome to my circular gradient. I'm using pure nail lacquer in standout, Oli in hot red and American apparel in berry. That's one of those latex, latex free cosmetic sponges, I don't know, like foam rubber. And it's pre-moistened. As you can see, I've taped my nails up because I'm using red. And it's horrendous for clean up. That's the electrical tape that I'm using. Because it's stretchy. And I fold the end over so that it's easy to get a hold of and peel off. I'll start from the outside and work in. I've already done one hand, that's why the sponge is already being used. When you're actually applying it onto the sponge, try and blend your lines so that you've got less to do on the nail. And try and get the circle into the middle of your nail. The sponge should not be shiny with nail polish, otherwise you'll get smears and splodges on your nail rather than a nice fade. I did quite a lot of coats of this, probably because the the orange was so bright and not really in the same palette as the, the two reds. And I'm kind of a perfectionist with gradient. It is one of my favourite nail looks. It looks so effective on its own but of course I could never leave it alone. And each time you put the sponge onto the nail if you kind of move it slightly, like less than a millimetre slightly. It blurs the lines even more. You'll notice I'm wearing my pink fur scarf. It's never off my neck from November till March in Alaska. It's rabbit fur which is no doubt going to freak some of you out. But I did rescue it from a garage sale. I didn't go out and spend two hundred dollars and you know promote that animals should be used for fur. I saved it from extinction. And I love it. Like it was a real pet. I stroke it. And I snuggle it. So this gradient has been called Candied Apple. Beautifully evil. Like the red has been singed. So a few different descriptions. I was just comparing the left hand to the right hand there to make sure that they were sort of coming near to each other. I 
I'm not actually counting. But this is the last one. I've speeded this video up a lot because it was like 15 minutes long when I speeded it up already. That was too long. You just kind of need to see the basic technique and how to do it. Okay, so I think my two hands match now and we're ready for a coat of Sechvi. Don't forget to wrap those tips if you want a nice lasting manicure. I'm fond of Sechvi, but I know that HK girl is equally loved by some. I haven't tried it yet. Have to see. Okay, we can remove the tape now, ladies. And because we folded those ends over, it's very easy to remove without ruining our manicure. And so I'm going to go in with my Q-tips. That is Zoya Remove that I'm using, and I'm not very fond of it to be honest. I don't like the smell. I don't think it is as effective as pure acetone. However, I've got a bottle, I might as well use it and get rid of it. And then I can use the bottle to put pure acetone in. The cleanup of this was horrendous, even with the tape, because of the dark red. And um, my battery is about to run out, but you know, continue with cleanup until you are happy that there is no red around your cuticles anymore and you have a nice crisp line. I hope you enjoyed watching, ladies, and let me see your circular gradients. Have a great day.